Hey, this is Mike Wilmot with Microsoft. Um, tonight I want to talk to you about the Internet of Things, specifically around healthcare, and how I enabled that with the Aero Dragon Board 410C. Now, you've probably heard of the Internet of Things, and that refers to devices that are getting smarter and more network connected through things like Moore's Law and ubiquitous networking, where industries like manufacturing, healthcare, transportation are, are being transformed by the, the, the fact that we have lots and lots of cheap devices that are super powerful and able to communicate with both the internet and with each other. If you look at this diagram here, you'll see what's often referred to as a lambda architecture. We have a bunch of devices in different industries that are going through some kind of network, possibly through machine learning, and insights are gained out of that. Maybe you do reporting, maybe you do alerting on that. This is the typical flow that we'll use. <clears throat> and IoT, or Internet of Things, is also used for, you know, typical use cases are like predictive maintenance, remote, remote monitoring, and inventory, for example. Now, for the example I want to show tonight, I'm going to show you a Visio diagram. And the Visio diagram is a lot like what I just showed you, where you have a bunch of devices here on the left. In my case, I'm going through a machine learning API through Azure Machine Learning, storing that. And all this is in the cloud, so I'm storing that in a cloud database called Azure Event Hub. I send that through a streaming analytics time window where it's going to look at that, that data as it streams through every five seconds. And if I want, I can put it through a document database that's a schemaless database, or we can go directly to Power BI. And if we want to do some kind of alerting of users, we can do that as well. Now, the example that I want to talk about tonight is um, a, essentially a hospital cart. And say a hospital has a cart that they want to modernize. The cart might have been overheating, and they don't want to pay for new infrastructure. That's where IT comes in, IoT comes in really handy is to be able to take existing infrastructure and improve it instead of having to buy net new. Now, these carts have been overheating, and what we want to do is put a aero device in, uh, in the belly of one of these devices to measure the temperature. We might also want to extend the, the reach of these devices by allowing some of the peripherals in a aero device, uh, this dragon board, to have things like USB devices or sound ports or any kind of peripheral that you want to add just by, um, by way of electronics and sensors to that. So what I want to do is I'm going to demo um, the Azure Dragon Board 410C with a BMP280 weather station, and I'm going to send that up to, to Azure, all that data. What we'll have involved in that is Azure Machine Learning, so ability to do things like classification, regression, clustering through Azure Machine Learning, Azure Event Hubs, which are, are designed, their database is designed for lots and lots of streaming data. Streaming analytics, where we can look at that data over time window. And then Power BI, where we can do analytics off that data. If you want more information about the Dragon Board 410C, this is a pretty good website. And you can see that it has a lot of interesting things to include built in Wi Fi, Bluetooth, and lots of other, other support like a quad-core ARM uh, processor. So really, really powerful, a gigabyte of memory, and it's less than $100. Now this is the actual Dragon Board itself. Over here you've got a Dragon Board with a keyboard and mouse. As you can see, I've got a keyboard and mouse plugged into it. I've also got a display uh, cable here. And we're also hooked in to a breadboard here that has a, a diode on it. You can see blinking back here as we send data to the cloud, as well as a weather station that we're measuring weather data, uh, like temperature and pressure on. So, and I've also got a hairdryer back here in the back that what we're going to do with that is, is raise the temperature of this and set off alerts with Azure Machine Learning. So this is the basic setup. But like I said, this board is about 70 bucks and We've got the board hooked into the breadboard, which and the board is talking to the cloud through a uh, Wi-Fi. Wi it's it's built-in Wi-Fi device. The last thing I want to show you is the kind of the all-up display of what's going on here. So, um, 
you can see the the dragon board down here and this BMP temperature sensor uh, temperature pressure sensor you can see every time this little light flashes that it's taking a measurement and when it's doing that it's sending it to the cloud I'm also doing an anomaly reading and my what, what I'm doing there is I'm actually sending it through Azure Machine Learning and the last thing that I'm doing here is in this pipeline is I'm sending the data over to a, a Power BI dashboard here so what you'll see is that as I um, as I as I turn the uh, hair dryer on here what's going to happen is is it's going to get a little loud but you're going to see the temperature is going to start to spike and the readings on from Visual Studio you're also going to see this start to, to spike up as well um, when when the temperature reaches about 80 degrees Fahrenheit it's going to or 30 degrees Celsius it's going to start to uh, kind of complain about it being an anomaly and so I'm starting to heat up the the sensor here and again, this could be like a hospital cart that is is heating up and you know causing problems in terms of cost and in terms of quality for the uh, hospital staff. And what we're essentially doing here is is basically viewing the hospital cart, the electronics heating up, and you can see the spike on the on the far right side, and we're getting an anomaly reading on the left side here that says anomaly reading of one, and that's right over here. If I go to our dashboard, we're going to also see that we're getting anomalies on the on the dashboard. Now, if I hit the cooling button on the hair dryer here as well, we should start seeing that the what was heating up the the device is now going to be cooling it off. So we should be seeing our anomalies drop down as well as our temperature drop downs. And so this kind of shows you the the value of these sensors and how you can hook these things into the cloud. And if you, you know, if you do things right, you can save a lot of money. You can do good things for your organization, and uh, you can also do some pretty neat things with with IoT and and get an education that way. So again, this is Mike Wilm with Microsoft. Hopefully, this has helped you out a lot. And feel free to give me a, a buzz. I'm at Mike Wilm at Microsoft.com. That's Mike W I L M at Microsoft.com. Thanks for listening. Take care.